Welcome. Marla Mervis Hartman here with a quick tip. So um, today we're going to talk about self-care. So a quick tip for more self-care and better self-care for you. So anyone who's joining um, live or anyone who's watching this in the replay, go ahead and put your name down. Go ahead and tell me what your favorite self-care action is that you do on a daily basis or that you love to do and wish you had more of. So I just want to say a little disclaimer about these quick tips. I've been doing more quick tips on these Facebook Lives. And I just want to say that they're not, um, they're not an excuse for going deeper. I'm all for going deeper and looking at like, oh, what? Is there something else going on that I really need to um, look at deeper? These quick tips are just for us to have a little more pleasure in our day, for us to really look at what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and how we can actually feel better and make ourselves um, feel good about ourselves. So this quick tip today, hello everyone who's joining. Hello Robert, hello, give me a hello. Let me know anyone who's joining, just say hello. Um, this quick tip today on self-care is really acknowledging um, where we actually feel like we don't have enough time for self-care. So I've had um, this mother, a friend of mine, say to me, you know, I've been hearing you talk about self-care and, you know, I'm, that's just not really for me. Like, I'm living in survival mode and I just don't really have time for self-care and that's just not really how my brain works. And I get that. Like, when we're in survival mode, we're just in that, like, just getting, like, whatever we can, like, taken care of in the day and, like, the idea of, like, doing anything above and beyond that just feels like, oh my God, way too much. And what I want us to look at is, the quick tip is, is for you to already look around in your day and look at where you're already caring for yourself. So are you staying in bed an extra 10 minutes and that feels like self-care? Are you getting out of bed to go and move your body for a little bit? Is that self-care? I mean, down to like, I brush my teeth every morning. Or you know what, this morning I didn't brush my teeth and I didn't feel like it. Or you know, every, I always have my car washed because that feels good to me to have my car washed. That's not me, that's not my example. My car's always dirty. <laughs> but like, what are the things that you are doing on a daily basis that you maybe don't take, you kind of take for granted as just things that you do, but they're actually acts of self-care. They actually make you feel grounded. They make you feel um, more available. You feel better about yourself if you do them. Oh, I always bring a, a, my bright scarf because it makes me, it brightens my, my, me up when I see it, right? Like all those small things that we can look at. And the reason we want to acknowledge them is when we acknowledge that we are caring for ourselves, when we acknowledge that we can care for ourselves in very small moments where we don't say, oh, I will care for myself when I have that extra hour or when I go and get a massage or when I have the day off or when I'm on vacation. It's like, it's, it's in the moment, like I'm choosing to care for myself and it will take me maybe an extra 30 seconds. So what, what my challenge for you is to look at your day, take a day and notice, okay, this is an act of self-care. This is an act of self-care. This was an act of self-care. And notice what you're doing. And then this, the next day, I want you to look at all the ways that you could add a little bit more self-care. Like right now, this chair is a little wonky and I can move it around. Um, and I would feel more comfortable. And that took me like three seconds, <laughs> right? So all these small things that we can do that actually don't take extra time. They're not, you know, crazy. They're just adding to our self-worth. Like I'm worth feeling better about myself. I'm worth, um, you know, and it's so interesting. Self-care is really depending on the day. So we don't get into these like, I do this because it's self-care. It's like some days you may want to exercise and that feels like self-care. Some days you may not want to and that feels like self-care. So it's on a moment to moment basis. So if you um, are gonna do this challenge, 
I invite you to private message me and let me know how it goes. If you have any questions about what I'm saying, and if you want to tell me your experience with self-care, go ahead and put it in the in the comments. I'd love to hear where you're really challenged with self-care and where you're actually really good at it and any tips that you have for me or for anyone that's watching this. I would so love to hear that. So right now I am in this major process of promoting my pleasure plan. And one of the things that we do on the pleasure plan is talk about how we can bring more pleasure in our day with self-care, with self-talk, with our food and exercise and sexuality. And this is one of them. Self-care is such a huge component and we really need to dive in there and look at um, where we're blocked around self-care and where we don't feel like we're worthy of it or it's necessary. And, you know, self-care is, um, is an opportunity in small moments and large moments to love ourselves. So I'm going to put the pleasure plan in, um, in the link and in, in the comments so you can go and check that out. If you have any questions about it, please private message me. I'd love to share and see if it is right for you. I hope that you enjoy your day and that it's full of lots of self-care. Sending you so much love.